Do you still remember the story the ant and the grasshopper? It is about the ant who prepared its stocks for the rainy seasons, while the grasshopper doesn't care about the importance of early saving. We can actually relate this in real life, in saving our money. However, it is not practical to save our money in piggy banks. So, if it's not practical to save in the piggy bank, then where? This is the paradox of thrift and the five main reasons why we should save in banks, not in piggy banks. When we save in banks, money circulates within the businessmen and the common people because businessmen build companies from the money they have loaned and the consumers spend their money to buy the products and services which the businessmen build. And that's what we call money circulation. When the price becomes higher, the purchasing value becomes low when you're saving in a bigger bank. That is called inflation. Saving in banks helps prevent inflation from happening. It allows entrepreneurs to loan money from the banks, establish more businesses, and keeps the circulation of money moving. That is how you prevent the effects of inflation. If the money circulation is stable, there is a possibility that more investors will be interested to invest in the country, which will generate more jobs that will make the economic status alive, and this is what we call economy efficiency. If you're holding your money, the tendency is that you become an impulse buyer. But if you save in banks, you will be able to learn how to save less and expenses. If we already know how to save in piggy banks, we will be able to prepare for the future, for our education, daily needs, and health. We will acquire a happy life and success. So, start saving in banks. Start applying for a savings account. It is not just helping your family. It is also helping the whole community. Thank you so much for watching.